here too. I hope you are excited for another week of outdoor learning. So I wanted to start off this session by asking you, what can you hear? Ah. Let's have another little game of who am I? So I am an animal. I live up high. I am covered in feathers and I lay eggs for to give birth to my young. Hmm. What animal am I? Can you guess what we're going to be looking closely at this week? Yes, you're right, you guessed it. We are going to be looking at bird watch. birds because we're taking part in the big garden bird watch 2021. That's right. Every year at the very beginning of the year, the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, the RSPB, they organize a huge bird watch so that everyone in the country can get involved watching and counting the local species of birds in their very own garden. So your challenge for today, you can either get dressed up warm like I have and come outside to the local park or if your grown-ups are a little bit busy, you can get comfortable in front of your window and have a look outside. Now, you guys are not only going to be bird watching today, but you're going to be bird counting. Now, you might have a few questions. You might say, Miss Shine, what is bird watching? Well, bird watching is when you take a look in the great outdoors and you see what kind of birds you can see in your local area. Now, the great thing about bird watching is you don't just go bird watching with your eyes, you can bird watch with your ears as well because birds make all kinds of fascinating sounds. And I can hear that there are lots of different birds all around me right now because I can hear lots of different sounds. So I'm gonna have fun identifying those. I have my paper and pen with me. Now you guys, as I said, you're going to be having a look, seeing what birds you can see and seeing if you can name that bird by its features. Now, if you go on to Seesaw, you will see a table which has pictures of lots of different kinds of birds that we normally find at this time of year in the UK. And you will see their picture and their name. So you might be able to walk around and say, oh, I think that's a sparrow because I know what a sparrow looks like. Or I think that's a robin because I can see that it's got a red breast or that's a blue tit. There are lots of different kinds of birds. So have a look at that table first. And when you spot a bird, I don't just want you to tell me what it is, but what it's doing. Maybe it's perching on a fence. Maybe it's hunting for worms to feed its young. Maybe it's chilling out in its nest in a tree. You never know what they could be getting up to, but you can fill in that table and tell us what the birds are getting up to. But year two, you are also going to be counting birds. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do some tally counting, but what I want you to be able to do is tell me how many robins did you see? How many blue tits did you see? And you're going to count them using a tally, which I will show you how to do so we can see how many of those birds there were in your garden or in your local area. So I will show you how to do that tally now. And I want to make sure that I say, have a really good time bird watching girls. I cannot wait to see your results. And I hope you spot lots of lovely birds.